If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net. All right, so we're here at the arena and the incomparable, the great Rob Langway, and Ed Frankovic, too. So, uh, what does it mean to have hockey? Were you, a, you still weren't on the team in 91, were you, when they played the Flyers here, or did you play in this rink? Well, oh, yeah, I played a couple times. The exhibition games, yeah. We played here, and uh, during the, uh, when I got hurt a couple times. I oh, you did rehab there. Oh, yeah. So I got the Nova City role. Well, did Dennis Smith want to give you the number five when he was rehabbing? Because he always wore the five down here. No, I had a red shirt. It's really amazing what the Caps have become, but I think bridging the communities together, which is what David Boyle tried to do all these years ago with this jersey. That's what this jersey was about, was bringing Baltimore and Washington together. It was a failed experiment, but maybe tonight's the beginning of a new generation. Just never know. I mean, hockey's uh, you know, a small family. And you, know, you just don't know if it's going to work or not or have these more often. Isn't it amazing what they've tried to do, though, as far as growing the brand? From back in the days with the white towels and they're yelling at Ron Hextall and all the great stuff at the Capitol Center, that it's kind of bridged the generations here, I think, even in the, in the district. Oh, for sure. I go to these functions and I sign kids that their mothers took them to the first hockey games and I was playing. And now they're coming up with a best kid. And they're going to have kids and they're going to watch your best kid play. So let's get the family all involved in hockey. This guy probably saved hockey in this entire area. Saved the Caps, 1982-83, Rod comes into the trade. I mean, what does it mean to you, Rod? I mean, hockey was at its lowest point when you came in, and to see where it's gone in 20, 30 years. I'm proud of it, but again, it was a job. I was just coming here to make money and make a living for the family. And, you know, like you're saying, we were here for Save the Caps. I didn't know what I was getting into, you know, leaving Montreal, the elite of hockey, and coming to Washington where you know, there's only 5,000 people in stands and we got a tough time getting equipment. Now you see a lot of fans from Baltimore come up to you at Cavs games. I always see you at Cavs games. I think it's awesome that you drive up for it. But we're always trying to gauge just how many Baltimoreans are into the Cavs. I think it's it's kind of a dirty little secret, you know, that's going to get let out of the bag tonight, for sure. Oh, for sure. There's a lot of Baltimore people. Even Richmond. I live in Richmond now. Just don't realize. I mean, regional from, team now. Regional yeah. team. Yeah. And people from the mountains on the west side of the county come in. Ocean City come up. It's exciting game. It's a great game. It's a great game. Absolutely. It's a great scene, man. The legend, Rod Langway here. Ed Frankovic, man. We're, uh, we're live with the WNSTV right. in Baltimore. Second Nothing getting better than this. If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net.